Good afternoon, everybody. Today is Monday, March 19th, 2012. And we are, I think, uh, less than 48 hours from the start of spring. I'm ready. Spring begins. I'm ready, although I have to say it feels like summer already. And it's going to be, I guess, uh, Chris Gloninger was just telling us uh, a few minutes ago during the noon news, it's going to be or could get to uh, 80 degrees on Thursday. So uh, I'm, I'm fine with that. Bring I have it no on. problem bringing it on. That's right. <laughs> anyway, this is a live web chat. Thank you so much for logging on. I'm Tim Bartos, and this is my guest today, Dr. Howard Schlossberg. And I'm going to be telling you a little bit more about him in just a minute. But as I say, this is a live web chat. I'm the host of Six on Seniors, which is seen right here on Channel 6 each and every Monday during the noon news with Liz Bishop. And we talk about all kinds of things that relate to uh, the seniors and uh, caregivers and, as I like to say, everyone else in between. And this is meant to be an extension of the Six on Seniors segment. And today we talked about colorectal disease and getting that dreaded colonoscopy. And I have to tell you, I, you know, I have to confess, this is not my favorite subject to discuss, <laughs> but it's a very, very important one and one that folks need to know about. So I am very pleased that you're here today to help answer questions. Now, we want to take your questions. This is meant to be an interactive web chat, so we want to take your questions. There are three ways that you can get questions to us. You can send them via email at uh, right here behind us, chat at cbs6albany.com. What could be easier? Chat at cbs6albany.com. Or you can send them through the CBS6 Facebook page. And by the way, if you have not become a friend of CBS6 on Facebook, please do so. We have over 15,000 uh, friends on Facebook. And if, uh, if you're doing that, you might want to consider becoming a friend of Baptist Health, Nursing and Rehabilitation as well, because we have a Facebook page mm -hmm. and we have over 500. So we'd love to get that to 600. So please like us on Facebook. So you can send us uh, questions or comments through the CBS 6 Facebook page. And we also have this little T here, stands for Twitter. We also will take tweets. So if you are familiar or use Twitter and want to tweet us a question or a comment, we would love that. But those are the three ways that you could get in touch with us. So we're anxious to take your questions. Now, those of you who tune in or log on to this web chat every week know that I always share a thought for the week. And my thought for this week is, by bestowing a couple of acts of kindness, you can make any day worthwhile. What do you think? Can I get you something? Is there something <laughs> I can do for you. you? <laughs> Thank you. Think about that as you go about your week. <clears throat> Sitting on my right is Dr. Howard Schlossberg. Did I get the pronunciation Perfect. right? Perfect. Perfect. Wow. <laughs> On a Monday. I didn't expect <laughs> that, but thank you. And uh, Dr. Schlossberg is with New York Oncology Hematology mm -hmm. in uh, uh, Rexford, Correct. right? Uh, Riverview, Riverview Road in yep. Rexford, right? Okay. He is a graduate of Cornell University. You received your medical degree from Temple University in uh, Philadelphia. And you also completed your internship and residency there as well, right? Yep. And you're board certified in internal medicine, hematology, and medical oncology. And uh, let's see, it also says here that you are a member of the, the Oncology Hematology Board of Directors, and you serve on their research committee. Yep. And you also serve on the Ellis Hospital Institutional Review Board and the Schenectady County Public Health Advisory Committee. Right. You stay very busy. Yeah. <laughs> Some of the meetings have breakfast, so I'll be there. Okay, sounds good. Well, again, I am so pleased that you're here today. And um, I, I'd like to just get started with, uh, I've got some my own questions here. I'd like to get started with, uh, as far as colorectal cancer goes, what, with my own question, and that is, what are some of the symptoms that are associated with colorectal cancer? Well, the main thing is what the colon does is it collects stool and holds it and then gets rid of it. Mm -hmm. um, and anything that <clears throat> disrupts that comes to most people's attention. If there's mm -hmm. a blood coming out or pain or a change mm -hmm. in what comes out, mm -hmm. uh, that should catch your attention. There's mm -hmm. always some variation day to day, but mm -hmm. if something, if it appears things are getting smaller or darker, and especially blood, right. that, that you need to bring to someone's attention. Definitely. Any signs of blood or, or as you said, anything unusual mm -hmm. or different, right. uh, you should call your doctor and make an appointment then. Right. right. Huh. 
Now, I mentioned during the segment that uh, if you're 50 years or older, you should definitely schedule a colonoscopy. But, um, I, well, you can tell me, correct me if I'm wrong, I guess that's the, the rule of thumb, but obviously if you have a family history or you have had other symptoms at an earlier age, it's perfectly fine to get that colonoscopy before age 50, right? That, that's exactly right. Uh, some organizations have guidelines to get colonoscopies even earlier than 50, but 50 is sort of the standard. Mm -hmm. If you, you mentioned family history, yes. they will often recommend getting the colonoscopy five or ten years before your family member to try to catch it early if there is one of the familial syndromes. Oh, okay. uh, there are families that colon cancer travels in, and it also can pop up in a family, so it's important that other family members get checked as well.